is we're going to look at the type of putter itself, and this is critical. In fact, this is the single plane putting methodology. This is what we teach, okay? The putting system. What is happiness? Happiness is achievement. What's the father of achievement? Motivation. What's the mother? Encouragement. The fine golf swing is truly achievement. Man may lie, cheat, and steal for gain. But you'll never gain the golf swing. To gain the golf swing, man must work. It's work without toil. For those of us who know to love it, golf is truly happiness. You can take, I want you all to take your putter at home right now, hopefully got in your hand, maybe not close by, and I want you to balance that putter on your finger and then just hold it back in. As you do that, the putter face should stay square to the ground, or what we call it parallel to the ground. That is a face balanced putter. So basically this putter face is balanced to the ground. It's balanced, it's level to the ground. So if you took your putter, okay, and I've got some different examples here. Okay, and I'll, I'll do these right here. And let's say I have one of these putters, and I take it, and I hold it up, and I balance it. That is, that right there is a toe down putter. So I'm gonna have the guys zoom in this real quick. There is a toe down putter. So I balanced it, and the toe goes down on that putter. So it didn't sit up normal like the other one. I balanced and it went down, okay? Here's a second one for you, and this is very common. This is just a little white hot number one. Okay, notice. Same thing, I balance it, the toe goes down. So I can show you a couple different views of it, that's probably the best. The toe goes down, that is a toe down putter. And then I actually have one here that's even a little bit different. I balance it and the toe goes up. That's a toe up putter, okay? And a few of those have been released. There's some bigger companies out there that release some toe up putters. Actually, Odyssey had one for a while, had a toe up putter. So you know, so look at the difference here. As I balance this putter, this is a face balanced, level to the ground, balanced face putter, okay? So we are looking, again, I'll do it one more time, and this right here would be a toe down putter, okay? Now, here's the issue. A face balanced putter is built to stay square longer. It is built to basically stay square as long as we can actually control it being square. It is also, honestly, will have the biggest sweet spot. It won't twist or turn as you hit the toe and heel, so it's actually set up for an easier and more forgiving putter. We'll get into that here more, but a toe down putter is built to arc. Every toe down putter is built to arc. Okay, it's go in and out. So it's built to arc on an arc. We do not teach an arc. We do not believe in arc putting. That is not single plane putting. Like Mo discussed, like we've discussed, we're trying to keep the club face as square as long as possible. So we want a putter face that is face balanced. And then a toe up putter is actually the opposite. It's built the arc in the opposite direction, okay? So we're looking for face balanced putters, okay? Now notice, I'm going to show you something here. And I've got a few different ones here. I've got, I've got a lot of different ones here. So notice, it's not about, and I'll show you the similarities between all these real quick to show you what a face balance is. So here's one that was made. Um, it's actually a two ball face balance that was made a couple years ago, okay? And it's actually, no, it's perfectly face balanced. Okay, there you go, put the hold, the, um, level it, face balance. I've got one here that's a o, uh, OG number seven, very, calm, very popular on tour. There you go. In fact, this is one of the most popular parts on tour right there. You guys have seen that shape, face balance, okay? And then obviously the one, one I use um, is also known as face balance. Now here's a similarity and here's what you'll see on 90% of face balance butters. They actually have what's called a goose neck on it or a double bend neck. So there's a, the ability right here, I think my guys can zoom in on this, but the, the shaft goes all the way down into the head and they can actually double bend the neck to create face balance, okay? So what that means is that if you have a non-face balance putter, and I'll show you this right here, this is not a double bend. This putter goes in with a straight shaft and the putter goes into it. This one right here, there's no way to change that into face balance. In 99.99% .99 of putters that are non-face balance, it's impossible to change them into face balance. It's just what you get here, okay? There's no way to change that, okay? So, no matter what type of putter you're looking for, we're gonna obviously strongly suggest face balance, okay? That fits our system. And it only makes sense. If you want consistency, 
Um, you want to get that face square through impact. You want to keep it square longer. You want a bigger sweet spot. We're going face balance, okay? So the next thing is we're going to look at, and this is some new technology, is we're going to look at the putter itself. And this is actually, and I'm going to pull this putter out right here so you can see it better. This is actually what's called a stroke lab putter. And you can see right here is there's a red on the top and silver on the bottom. The red on the top is graphite. The silver on the bottom is steel. Okay, so there's just a little bit of steel into the putter head and all graphite all the way, way, way up. In fact, all these, this is harder to see here, but this is a gray graphite on that one. Okay, so that's graphite and steel. You can see one right here. That's black graphite versus steel on the bottom. Okay, so anyway, what the Stroke Lab putter is, is the Stroke Lab putter, what, the, what Odyssey did is they said that because of the mallet type heads, which are becoming more and more popular, in fact, almost 78% of tour players are using a mallet type head. And that was in 2021 stats. They said 2022 stats, I've heard it's over 80%. So that we're talking LPGA, PGA, Champions Tour are using a mallet type head. We'll discuss more about that later. But anyway, so as the mallet heads come out, they get a little bit heavier. I mean, it's just more metal in the head or more component in the head. So what Stroke Lab did is they took some weight out of the shaft they allowed it to stay in the head, then they put a weight on the back. There's a 40 gram weight in the top of these grips on every stroke lap. And they have proven that having weight on the top and counterbalance it to the putter head creates a better stroke. So if you want more advantage me, stroke lab putter is the way to go. And you guys can look at the research on this. I don't need to cover this for hours, but they've done it by numerous testing. It proves that it creates a better stroke by counterbalancing the weight in the head. So instead of having, it feels like, well, all this weight's in the head and that putter head feels so heavy, they counterbalance the weight. And it's amazing. I will pull the weight out of the back end and I'll have somebody use the exact same putter head and they'll go, my God, that feels so heavy. Then I'll put the weight in the back end and have them use it, the exact same putter. They're like, wow, what did you just do? Did you take all the weight out? And I go, nope, I just counterbalanced it. It shows how much better feel it puts in the putter, how much better stroke it puts in the putter. And Odyssey has proven this time and time again. In fact, they've done extensive research on this on machines um, by putting the putter on putting machines and actually showed how even those machines putted it better with counterbalance. So Stroke Lab's got a counterbalance to these mallet type heads, which makes a much better stroke, okay? So basically that's the makeup of the putter to get you the best advantage in the putter. So if you're looking for the top number one, no doubt about it, advantage to a putter on the golf market right now, it's a Stroke Lab putter with a mallet type head. Now let's kick it up a notch. Let's put this on steroids as I like to say it, okay? Now let's start talking alignment, okay? Because when you look at this putter, this has triple track alignment on it. So it's got the two green lines, or excuse me, the two blue lines with the red line in the middle. That is triple track technology. And that has been proven that is the best way and the most ideal way for the human eye to actually align to a particular ball, which then goes to a target, okay? So we want to have a putter with an alignment on it. We want the best alignment in the world. Because if you notice here, I've got other putters here. In fact, I've got some of them drawn on, but I've got putters with, with just single alignment on there, okay? Got single alignment in the middle. I'm going to give you another one here. I'm going to give you, I'll give this one. And this is a perfect example here. Here's a very popular putter, but I'm going to get a zoom in on this. This is that one that's got one line on the top, okay? That's alignment, and I like that alignment on the Trust me, I like it better than just a plain blade or whatever it is. But notice, there's no if, ends, or buts about it. If you look at these putters, that triple track technology will give you a much better alignment or much better advantage when you're on that green or when you're practicing, okay? And we're going to talk about that triple track alignment a lot. It's been out a couple of years about now, and it's been a huge game changer, okay? So we want some type of alignment in the putter, and ideally, ideally, we're going to look at something like this triple track alignment. That is massive, okay? In fact, that has been proven that the eyes work the best with that type of alignment. And we can get, we can get a lot more depth in that. Won't do it in this workshop, but the technology is there. 